بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Good morning grade 5 uh, We are still talking about the interactions between Earth's air system uh, We uh, If you remember we said that uh, the parts of the, the four spheres the four spheres of the Earth system here, hydrosphere at atmosphere and biosphere are interdependent. All of these spheres are interdependent. What is the meaning of this? That they depend on each other. And we mentioned or listed many examples of this interaction. For example, uh, the biosphere and the geosphere, both of them, interact and depend on each other. For example, living things that live in the biosphere takes gases from the atmosphere. Also, like carbon dioxide and oxygen. Okay, this is an example of interaction between biosphere and atmosphere. Uh, without, without the atmosphere, Without the gases in the atmosphere, living things that live in the biosphere cannot survive or cannot, cannot live because, uh, for example, plants take carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. More, uh, other orga all organisms need oxygen for breathing. Time. Living things also gives off gases. Also, when we breathe, we give off or release uh, carbon dioxide. Okay? Plants also release or give off oxygen in the photosynthesis, okay? And these gases go from the biosphere to the atmosphere. As you see here that uh, in this example, the biosphere and the atmosphere are interacting or exchange materials. This is, for example, the atmosphere, okay? And the biosphere notice that gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide uh, go from the atmosphere to living things a plant take in carbon dioxide for photosynthesis uh, plants, uh, other all organisms take oxygen for breathing. Also, these gases back to the atmosphere when a living things, for example, when plants make photosynthesis, they release oxygen. When uh, animals or and plants and animals, plants, animals and humans breathe, they release or give off carbon dioxide. So notice that the interaction between the atmosphere and the biosphere. Right. Uh, geosphere and atmosphere. Also, uh, geosphere and atmosphere uh, can interact with each other. If you observe a rock, if you observe a rock in, in the open air for days, a rock, as you know, is part of the geosphere. Rock is part of the geosphere. Right. And the air is a part of the atmosphere. If you observe the rock in the open air for days, weeks, or, if, or even years, you might never see it change. If you could watch it for thousands of years, suppose, suppose you could imagine that you can live for thousands of years, and you put a rock in the open air, 4,000 of years. What will happen to the rock? Of course, this rock will change over the year. Thousands of years will change the rock. These changes is called withering. This change is called withering. Okay? This process, withering, happens over thousands or millions of years. Okay? What is the meaning of weathering? I will tell you 
Now, what is the meaning of ordering? Rocks, the process, the process by which rocks break down into small pieces. The process by which rocks break down into smaller pieces is called withering. This process withering takes thousands of years to happen. It's a very slow process. Withering of rocks needs a lot of time, thousands of years, because rocks are very hard. What causes withering? The question is, what causes withering? In fact, today, inshallah, I mean, we are not going to talk about withering, but just an example. One of the most important causes of withering is air. When the air hit, when the air hits, or when the air hits the rock, over a very long period of time, over thousands of years, the, 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 the rock become very weak. And this will cause the rock to break down. This process of the breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces is called withering. By the way, did you know that the soil that you see today, the soil around in your garden in the past was part of the rock, okay? Withering causes the soil to fall. Again, the, if you observe a rock in the open air for days, weeks, or even years, you might never see it change. But if you could watch it for thousands of years, okay, though you might see it get smaller. And that's what we mean by withering. Withering is caused by air. There are all, of course, there are, are other causes of withering. Uh, but air is one of the most important causes of withering. So in this case, this is an example of interaction between atmosphere and geosphere. Rock is part of the geosphere. Air is part of the atmosphere. Air causes withering. Air causes the, the rocks to break down, to get smaller. This process is called withering. The rock cliff in the photo, look at the rock cliff in the photo, was at one time much larger. Over time, gases from the atmosphere reacted with the rock and chemical changes wore away the rock. So air, when the air hits the rock, also the air causes chemical changes to, to happen inside the rock. This will cause the rocks to wear away or broken. The, the pieces were then carried away by water or wind. Today, the rock ha has a unique shape. Look at this. The, this is an example of weathering. Okay? This is an example of weathering. This rock cliff in the past, it has another shape. It was different from this. Air causes this rock to change. This is called weathering. So this is an example. Yani, uh, our, yani, I, don't want, I don't want to uh, talk about withering. It is just an example of how the air or atmosphere affect the geosphere. As you know, rocks are part of the geosphere. Air is part of the atmosphere. Water, air can break down the rocks. But this process takes a very long period of time, thousands of years, okay? Because the air or gases in the air can cause chemical changes in the rock. Also, when the air hits the rock over a very long period of time, this will weaken 
the rock will, will weaken the rock, make it very weak and can be easily broken down or get smaller, right? Is it clear? طيب. Uh, wait, Sarah. Uh, I don't. Uh, I didn't finish till now. Wait. All air in the atmosphere is, con is constantly moving. Helena, can help us? But then, air. طيب. مين عنده سؤال فضل؟ Yalla, you can ask Sarah and Malak, yalla. Mister, I didn't understand. Okay, it's okay. I didn't Malak. I didn't understand. Okay, Sarah, okay, get it. So, Malak, do you have any question? Yeah. It's not clear. It's not clear. Okay, okay, don't worry. It's not clear. Okay, okay, get it, get it. I know, I know. Okay. Air in the atmosphere is constantly moving, as you know. Air is always moving, but its movement usually is not a straight line. And sometimes air travels over flat land easily, but mountains can change the flow of air. When winds run into the side of the mountain, the air will flow up and over the mountain. And some, okay, okay, look at this. This statement, look here. Look at this paragraph. Air in the atmosphere is always moving. Of course, at any moment, every second, water is con con uh, constantly moving. Water, sorry, air, never, air never stop. It always Mr. moves. Okay. Underline or the paragraph. No, no, okay, wait. But its movement, the movement of air, is not straight line. Yani, of course, when air travels over flat area, it can travel easily because nothing can block it. Look here, please. When, uh, when air is moving over a flat area, okay, like this, nothing will block it. It can will, it can will flow easily. But suppose that there is a mountain. Suppose that there is a mountain here. What will happen? What do you think? Of course, this mountain will block the air or force it to change its direction. Okay? Yeah, they may go to like this or like this. So water, air is always moving. This movement, air travels over flat areas easily, but mountains can change the flow of air. Is it clear? When winds run into the side of the mountain, the air will follow up or flow up and over the mountain. So the mountain will force the air to change its direction. As the air rises and cools on one side of the mountain, by the way, when the air rises in the mountain, it will get cooler. It will get cooler. Water vapor in the atmosphere form, forms clouds, okay? The water in the clouds falls as rain or snow. The other side of the mountain tends to be much drier because it gets little rainfall or snow. So this is an example also of the interaction between geosphere and the atmosphere and uh, the uh, geosphere and the atmosphere. Okay, air, as the air rises and cools on one side of the mountain, water vapor in the atmosphere forms clouds. Why or what causes, what causes clouds, what causes uh, or how clouds form? As water rises or water vapor rises to the atmosphere, up in the atmosphere, it, it cools. When you go up in the atmosphere, as you go higher in the atmosphere, what will happen to the temperatures? Temperatures go, goes down, temperatures go down. So water vapor will cool and condenses 
change to and condenses and form clouds. The water in the clouds fall as rain or snow, as precipitation. The other side of the mountain tends to be much drier because it gets little rainfall or snow. I and mean, you have to distinguish sometimes the air. Look at this mountain. This suppose that this is a mountain. Okay. Here, this side of the mountain, for example, suppose that the wind or the air moves like this in this direction. This side of the moon, this side of the mountain, sorry, will be colder and wet. Okay. This part of the mountain is will be will be will be dry because air it is it's it's far from the air or from the direction of the air. Okay, so this side of the mountain will be dry, uh, colder and with that. So okay. I have a question. Now I have a question. Yeah, who's talking? How uh, Selma? Ahla Selma. How the mountains will be called? Okay. Five. Uh, you have to uh, understand something important in the in sales. Look here, please. This is this is the air surface. Okay. So this is the air surface. And as you know, the atmosphere is all of the air that's around the air. Yani, even in your home, you are part of the atmosphere. As you go up, as you go up in the atmosphere, it becomes cooler, colder. Okay? And as you okay. go down, it is warmer. Okay? Yani, in general, always the mountains, okay, Mountains are colder than flat areas. For example, Ajlon, Ajlon is uh, almost 1,000 meters above sea level. Okay, the height of Ajlon is 1,000 meters above sea level. Irbid is 650 meters above sea level. Which of them is higher? Of course, Ajlon. And always, if you follow, if you watch the uh, the temperature or sorry the weather forecast, you will notice that temperatures in Ajlon always colder than the temperature or cool. the, the weather in Ajlon is always colder than temperature in Irbid. Okay, because Ajlon is higher than Irbid. So as you go up in the atmosphere, the temperatures as you go up and the temperatures always go down. Okay? Is it clear? Fine. Yes, it's clear. Fine. Fine plan. Again, again, let's repeat. This is the, we are talking about how the spheres interact. Uh, this page is talking about the interaction between geosphere and the atmosphere, how the geosphere affects the atmosphere, and also how the atmosphere affects the geosphere. Here, as I mentioned about earlier, that the air in the atmosphere can affect the rocks because the movement of air can break down the rock into smaller pieces. This process is called weathering. Also, the gases inside the atmosphere or gases from the atmosphere can react or interact with the rock itself and cause, make a chemical changes inside the rock. These chemical changes cause, cause the rocks to break down or wore away, okay? The pieces were then, then carried away by water or wind. Five. Today, the rock has a unique shape. Did you know that? Did you know that there are iron? Did you know that inside rocks there are iron? 
Okay, so ma many types of rock contain iron inside them. When the wind blow, the air or gases in the air interact with iron and cause a rusting in the rock. Some, uh, some mountains or some cliffs are, can be uh, uh, orange in their color. This is because of rusting. And rusting not only in the steel itself, many rocks, many rocks that contain, many rocks that contain iron uh, can be rusted because of the air. Air or gases in the air combine with iron in the rocks and cause the rocks to uh, rust. And this process is called weathering and this will change the color of the rock. This will change the color of the rock. Fine. Now, look at the sequence here, please. What, which of the Earth's, which of Earth's spheres causes rocks to have a unique shape? Can anyone answer this question? Okay. Can you repeat the question? The question or? Mr. Can I? Can I? Can I the Asia Sadin? That's me, it's Salma. Asia Salma. Can you repeat the question? Yes, you can. I can repeat it. It's written in your book. Uh, the question says, which of Earth's spheres, Earth's, Earth's spheres, causes rocks to have unique shape. Look at this rock. Can I try? What are the causes, or what are the spheres that cause the rock to have this shape? Yeah. Uh, me. 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 Oh, type. Sadin, you can answer. Can yeah. ask you a question? Sadin. Um, geosphere. Okay. Hello? Geosphere. Geosphere, atmosphere, and, and uh, hydrosphere. All of these spheres yes. can affect the rock. Well, and, biosphere. And causes the rock to change its shape. So... Uh, answer is my answer is correct. Yes, geosphere. Thank you, Sarah. Sadin, sorry, geosphere. Atmosphere. And uh, hydrosphere. Because also water cause the rock to change its shape. Water uh, or hydrosphere can cause the rock to change its shape. The atmosphere by the air in the atmosphere causes the rock to change its shape. Also, other process that happens in the geosphere can cause the rock to change its shape. Fine. Uh, this question, the, the question below, look at the, this question, this one. I want you to answer this question. This is a homework, please. Okay. Right, this is a homework. Please answer this question uh, and send me the answers. Okay? Teacher. Okay? Teacher. Okay. On the private? No. Yes, privately. On the private? Yes, ah, yes. How are the geosphere, atmosphere, and hydrosphere interacting as air moves over a mountain? You can, I will give you a help or a hint. You can find the answer in the second paragraph here. You can find the answer here, okay? The answer Teacher. is found here in this paragraph. Teacher, I have a question. Okay, wait. So how are the juice here, juice here, atmosphere and hydrosphere interacting as air moves over a mountain. Okay. Yalla, who is talking? Me, me, Hassan. Hassan, yalla, tada. Uh, the lava 
It's from which uh, sphere? Aywa, uh, who can answer, Hassan? Thank you, Hassan, for your question. Lava uh, belongs. Hydrosphere. Lava belongs to which sphere? Geosphere. Hydrosphere. No, geosphere. Or geosphere. What is lava? Lava is a molten, melted rocks. Lava is a molten rock, so it's part of the uh, geosphere. Where, from where it comes, yeah, Hassan? Lava comes from inside, inside the earth. So it is part of the geosphere. Lava is part of the geosphere. Okay, thank you. Bring me one, please. Thank you very much. طيب. الآن I want to check the attendance. بدي أشوف الحضور والغياب. اللي بنادي على اسمه يحكي. Okay. طيب. حسن عجيب. Yes. طارق الزعبي. طيب. غسان كنفاني. أستسيبك. نقول على البعض. غسان. غسان. سعد خريس طيب محمد اسماعيل الحاي ثانك يو يس محمد سعادة يس حسن علاونة موجود احمد ابو خيط يس اوكي استاذ انا بدي اعمل لي في بدي اعمل لي في لا استنى شوي تالا فرح يس تالا طاشمان سيرين ام هير ملاك ام هير رانيا سلمى رانيا وسلمى موجودين فرحانه اي ام هير يس يس اوكي طيب سيرين موجودة وسارة موجودة ثانك يو طيب شو الفرص بعدها؟ مستر كان اي ليف؟ وات؟ كمبيوتر كمبيوتر يس يو كان ليف كمبيوتر اي ونت تو اند ذا ميتنج ثانك يو فور ليسننج ويلكم مستر 